Okay, guys, if you like the content, I'm going to keep it coming. Give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe for the sake of the algorithm. Really helps grow the channel. I'm going to keep content coming all year long. I'm going to keep pumping out everything, growing the channel. Uh, we've got the Sawyer Clad interview coming out today. Larry Wheels interview coming out next week. And possibly another huge, huge name in the works. We'll see. That, that's looking promising. But... I've got, there's big stuff coming up, so just, you know, support the channel if you can. I really appreciate it. My parents are in town this week, so I haven't had quite as much time to comment um, on the responses as much as usual, but is I still appreciate it. Now, today's video, so yesterday we kind of went over the Truth About Trend video and how it pertains to things now almost 10 years later. This was the other video I made around that same time. This one was the truth about anabolic steroids. This video has 1.4 million views. Um, and like I said, it was roughly 10 years ago that I filmed this. So I'm going to see if I agree with things I said here now. Let's, let's revisit things 10 years later. So guys who go on gear, basically always. It's classic me though. You got the cloudy camera and uh, shoddy production quality. <laughs> side effects so you're either going to get acne you're going to get balding you're going to get gyno and most people will have their blood pressure go up a ton so you know that's actually not that terrible of a you know i mean that makes a lot of sense because that is true to some extent so let's go over it let's go over it guys Acne, I'm going to actually show you. I had horrific, horrific acne, cystic acne. So not just like normal acne, but like cysts on my upper back, you know, um, chest, shoulders. And this was like nasty. Like this is the kind of acne where you wear a t-shirt and you like squat or something and it bleeds everywhere. Or like you're laying in bed and your sheets are covered in blood because you have all this acne that's bleeding. Like... Or acne that literally makes it to the point you never want to take your shirt off ever because you're so freaking self-conscious because it looks like you got shot with a shotgun all over your back. Like that bad. That's how bad it was. And the reason I think for that a lot of times is obviously other than genetics. So let's say, I, I, I don't know for sure, but I was, you know, I had quite a bit of acne during puberty on my face. So I wonder if that obviously led to having more acne on anabolic steroids. And the acne wasn't on my face, but it was on my upper back, you know, all these areas. All these areas where the androgen receptors are more prevalent. So the shoulders, the delts, upper back, all that sort of stuff. And I, so obviously I probably have more oily skin. So if you have more oily skin, you're risking it. I also think part of it too was back in those days, like 2010, 2015, even a little after that, the gear was much crappier. Like, you would just get gear from like some guy you knew. So I would get it from my like fellow power lifters. And some guy would just be whipping it up in his basement with no sanitary conditions that whatsoever. So I have to think the gear was like completely unsanitary, which is why I, have to, you know, the other funny thing about this in hindsight is funny now. I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? You know, I was willing to put anything in my body because I was young and I wanted to be strong, but the acne was insane. Like I had the worst acne you've ever freaking seen. Uh, never. There was a period for probably like eight years where I wouldn't take my shirt off in public because it was that bad. I still have the acne scars, guys. I still have it. It's just not as bad. It's faded. But this is after freaking eight, ten years. Like I still have. So you see this? You see this right here? This is acne scars. That's never going away. Like this is scarring. Um See that? That's all scarring. That's faded, guys. It still looks like that and it's faded. But that's freaking all. I think that's pretty much permanent. I don't know if there's much I can do about it. I'll show you, I'll show you this arm too to give you an example. That's scarring. That's from the cystic acne from literally almost 10 years ago. Like, do you want to deal with that? Do you want to have that? Think twice. That's not even my, and my upper back has it too. Do you want that? 
it's just it's not something you want trust me so you know if you're gonna do gear you better damn well make sure it's it's good gear and it's it's clean and sanitary and like high standard not cut with a bunch of carrier oils because if you use crappy gear that's what's gonna happen to you so that that's literally from using basement made crappy gear that's i got i didn't even know where it was coming from i just would you know there'd be a fellow power lifter and he'd have gear and he'd have access to gear and back then it was much harder to get access to and he would just get it from you know joe blow down the freaking street and that guy you know he and he didn't prepare it properly so it's like of course i'm getting i got these acne scars like you don't want that trust me you do not want that the other thing with this gear the, the gear would would lead to like infections like you pin it in your you know you take a shot and your glue would swell up for a week where you could barely bend down to reach the bar on deadlift or you couldn't squat because it was so painful because there'd be like a bit of an infection because the gear was again crappy so it's just like guys this is what i'm talking about this stuff is crazy the other thing too okay i have my family there's no history of like balding look at this my hairline is definitely it's been cut back my hairline has been cut back like you think i'm happy about that i didn't think about that when i was 20 when i was 25 because i don't have a family history of, of of receding hairline or baldness or anything but look at this this is the 100 percent or receding hairline 100 percent caused by steroids 100 percent. i have zero freaking doubt zero i would not have this much of a receding hairline without if i didn't use steroids for nine years there's absolutely not I would have a regular hairline full on. This bothers me. I don't freaking like this, but it's from steroids. This is from steroids. The, the scarring, it's all from steroids. And obviously the scarring wouldn't show up as much if I was tan, but then, you know, you got the catch 22 of the uh, UV damage. So it's kind of like a difficult thing. I've taken Milano tan before and I've made my skin literally like 10 shades darker, like crazy. But at the same time, it, it reduces the acne scars, but obviously, you know, that's its own thing. And so it's just, it's like, do you want this? The gyno thing I never got, never got gyno. My estrogen would be, my estrogen levels would be near 200 um, nanograms per, per deciliter. And I still, I never got gyno, never got it. So that was one thing I didn't have to deal with, but you know, Hack talked about it in the interview. It's something he's had to deal with. And Larry Wheels has talked about acne and like everybody gets something. Everybody's going to get something. It's likely, it's, I'm not saying there's going to be some people who, are okay. It's likely that over time you're going to have a receding hairline, you're going to lose hair, or you're going to get some kind of acne, or you're going to get gyno, or it's, it's likely. Not to say, you know, it's, everyone's going to get that, but it's very possible. So this, that was true. I mean, I'm going to forewarn you for anybody who's thinking about using anything, it's highly likely, unless you're one of the few genetically lucky people that you will end up with either gyno, acne, or you'll go bald. So the only thing like maybe not go bald, but yeah, you'll get your hairline completely destroyed. So that pretty much, I, I agree with that still, like that's likely for anyone, like some, one of those things could potentially happen. And you know, you guys in the comments, if you guys have other negative side effects that have happened physically or whatever, you know, let me know. 16 year old who asked me if he should go on gear absolutely not not only are you still growing not only are you still going through puberty but you're also likely to encounter one of those three side effects so if you really want you know to have to have gyno surgery when you're like 16 years old and pay thousands of thousands of dollars for that, that insurance is going to cover, then go ahead, you know, if you want to have acne all over your shoulders and back, go ahead, or if you want to go bald, go ahead, but I'm definitely not going to recommend anyone under the age of 20 ever touch anything, not even pro hormone, at least wait a few years till you can really think it through and know what you're doing. And even 20 is a little early, but at that point, you can at least make a reasonable decision. But for the most part, nearly every single person who takes anything will get one of those symptoms. I never get gyno. I never used an anti-estrogen, and I still didn't get gyno. I don't. 
you know, that's a side note, but I think anti-estrogens are somewhat overrated. Um, you're going to feel worse if your estrogen is tanked than if your estrogen is high. Truthfully, if your estrogen is completely bottomed out, you're going to feel terrible. You're going to have no libido. You're going to feel your joints ache. Um, you're going to feel overall your sense of well-being is going to be worse. Uh, if your estrogen is high, you can feel really good and your joints can feel good and you need some degree of estrogen. So now I just try to keep it in that, you know, you want to be in that 40 to 60 range, ideally. That's about your sweet spot as far as estrogen being not harmful, not counterproductive, but not too low. So that's kind of what I would aim for nowadays as far as dialing that in, because there's always an extreme, you know, generally in life. Extremes are, are going to hurt you to some degree. So you always kind of want to be in the middle, especially with like things like labs. No problems with this. I, uh, I mean, the thing to it, anytime I try an anti-estrogen, basically my estrogen will get too low. I'm going to throw in some Accutane to get rid of it. Yeah. So estrogen, like I talked about, get too low, you feel terrible and I took Accutane to stop the cystic acne. I took Accutane 20 milligrams low dose for six months straight every day. And that dried out my skin enough to where I never got acne again. But I was left with all the scarring from those poor decisions. Truthfully, if I could do it again, uh, I wouldn't do it like this. Like, that's not to say I wouldn't do anabolic steroids. I would do them far differently. That's a whole other video topic, but I would do things completely differently to avoid the acne, which I think I could have, especially not using freaking basement made garbage underground gear. Like it's you guys with your underground gear that people are cooking up in your basement. That is not the way to go. Like that stuff is terrible. If you're going to do it, at least don't use that, tr that trash. Most of the, most of the underground gear is trash, straight up trash. I don't care who, yeah, I don't care that your friend at the gym is cooking it and you guys are cool. The guy doesn't know what he's freaking doing. He's going to overcook the compounds and make them unavailable. They're not going to be bioavailable because they're going to get overcooked and burned. Does he know the cooking temperature of them? No. Does he know how much carry oil to put in? Does he know what carry oil to put in? Does he know how to make it sanitary? Does he wash his hands? Does he have a cool lab setup? Does he have like a completely sterile lab setup? Like this is the stuff you got to think about. So when you get, when you get uh gear, from, you know, Gary at the freaking gym, who's your best friend or who's, who's the jacked guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. You got to realize this, like, don't use that trash. Be very discreet, very careful. I should say about like what you're taking, where you get it. You don't want to end up with this kind of crap. No, you don't. Eventually. And then you got the scars that you're left with and everything. So it sucks, man. Um, I was one of the unfortunate ones who had that. And if you have oily skin growing up, going through puberty, you're probably going to be pretty fucked. So, pardon my language, but you get the point. Like I, I, everything that I've said here in this video from 10 years ago still is true 10 years later. Like it's accurate. That's when it's honestly the worst, which is kind of what I'm going through right now. Um, and it's a pain in the ass. So these are kind of the negative things a lot more about how bad they can fuck you up in the head. All right, I'm dropping F-bombs like crazy in this video at this point. This video is from 10 years ago. Like I said, sometimes the cringe factor is there. You look back at it and you're like, man, why was I like that? But you get the gist. It's just one of those things. Like you got to think about this. So I haven't even touched on the... Uh, side effects as far as health wise that we don't see this is all physical visual things you're going to see but things you're not going to see as far as like potential organ growth um, potential plaque buildup in the arteries uh, kidney damage like you know walking around with high blood pressure for 10 years probably wasn't good for me uh, but it's one of those things you're young, you, you know, you don't dial in like you're on, you're on cycle and you're not on blood pressure medication. You know, are you serious? Like, no, you can't do that. You're on cycle. You better be on some blood pressure medication. Cause I don't care what your freaking blood pressure is. If you're on a cycle, it's going to go up. There's no doubt. If you're on trend and you're not taking blood pressure medication. That's completely reckless. You know, Anadrol, same thing, all this kind of stuff. 
equipoise, that's a garbage steroid, never use it. But I digress, you know, it's just like, you're not on blood pressure medication. You're not taking a statin once or twice a week. You're not looking after your health. Like I didn't care either when I was in my twenties, but you know, Lord only knows the damage you can accrue. So it's just one of those things you have to consider. The other thing, like, have we not talked about sleep apnea? Your, your neck's going to get massive from the anabolic steroids because all the androgen receptors in the neck area traps and all that you're gonna have sleep apnea which is gonna slowly kill you so it's like that's another thing you know you get this it's just you gotta think about this kind of stuff guys blood pressure sleep apnea um cholesterol your lipids are going to be completely screwed anytime you're on anything but test and test can throw it off to some degree but the other steroids are really going to throw it off your lipids, your cholesterol, as far as your bad cholesterol, LDL, and your HDL, good cholesterol, going to get completely torched. They're going to be out of whack. Your creatinine, all that kidney functions are going to rise. Um, liver enzymes are going to rise. Liver's going to be under a little stress, particularly on orals. Uh, this is just the stuff you got to think about. Hematocrit being through the roof. Like, it's not uncommon. I'll see guys even on test, hematocrit's of 51 plus. And I see guys on cycle, and it's like 54, 55 hematocrit's which very thick blood, you know, you don't want that. That's also a risk for clotting and heart attacks and such. So there's a lot that comes into play and the education just wasn't out there back in this day. Like when I made this video, the only one talking about this stuff was like Rich Piana and Boston Lloyd. That was it. No one was talking about it. Now it's all over. Everybody talks about their experiences with everything, but no one talked about it back then. So you just got to think about these things and it's just, you know, do you want this stuff? Do you want these side effects? I don't know. Think, think hard about it. Be smart. You know, it, I think even John said, uh, cause Larry said he, he's gotten pretty bad acne and John said, I think he got it. Uh, I got to have to look back at the interview again, but when he went, you know, on Andrew and stuff, he said he would get it. So it's just stuff to think about, but if you guys like the content, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe for the sake of the algorithm channels growing. I appreciate you all and we'll keep the content coming.